it's on. Mic check, mic check. <laughs> Five o'clock. Thursday. And you're watching Chelsea and Tony Live. And today's topic is travel. We're going to be reviewing your travel photos. But first, we got to tell you that this episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. They have an all-in-one platform, beautiful award-winning designer templates, and it's fl flexible for any kind of website. You don't just have to be a photographer. You can have any kind of thing shown off on a Squarespace website. It's super easy to use. Tony and I have them. You can look that up. It's real fun. So you can start your free trial today at squarespace.com slash Tony and use the coupon code portfolio to get 10% off. That gets you 10% off and let Squarespace know we're doing an all right job so we can do the show. I like that I don't have to be a design person or a web person, person? to make Squarespace work. I just saw that they released this new thing where it'll, if so, you have the option of turning on this thing where it'll pop up and let people put in their email to get updates from you. Yeah. It's just a little pop-up thing, but it's just this nice integrated design element that fits into your current theme that you didn't have to think about. You don't have to like try to find some plugin that'll do it or do some CSS or something. Yeah. They just take care of it. And then it, it, it's awesome that they just do that kind of thing automatically. Uh, I like that it looks pro because my old website was really embarrassingly ugly. Yes. And even if you made an awesome website now, like two years from now, it would look totally old. Yeah. But with Squarespace, you could just change your template and you'll instantly have like a more modern design. They're always putting up new stuff. If you have a Squarespace website of any type, photography or not, go to sdp.io slash link and we'll take a look at it during the live show. That's how cool the modern era is. Like we're literally, you're watching TV and we're interacting with you. What a time to be alive, folks. <laughs> We're standing on the shoulders of giants. Hey, you can communicate with us in two ways. Yeah, talk to us. Go to hashtag TC Live on Instagram or Twitter, and Justin or Siobhan will read the comments to us. Or just write a comment. Justin or Siobhan. <laughs> That's Siobhan. <laughs> Excellent illustration. Wow, Justin, that was really beautiful. Okay, send your travel photos into sdp.io slash submit. While you're sending those in, We'll tell you that next week we're looking at uh, astrophotography and night photos. Yeah. So get your tripods so out. So I made a mistake because the fine folks at Patreon, they get to vote on the live show themes, and I accidentally mixed them up. So I'll be catching up on that. Oh, okay. Chelsea, they this, paid a dollar for that. This week was supposed to be astrophotography, but I got... I got I've done goofed, okay? Oh, okay? I'm just one woman. Can we talk about what travel photography means? Is it, do you think it's any picture that somebody takes while they're on holiday? That's what the Europeans say instead of vacation. I don't know. No. I don't even If you take here. a picture of a cat or it's just a picture of your kid, but you happen to be traveling, that, that doesn't count. Travel to me means you have made an effort to capture the character of a place, something unique about that place. It needs to tell me a little bit about this particular destination. I don't even Not think just any picture you took while traveling. I don't even think you have to leave your house to take a travel photo. You could have a passport, do one of those cool oh. little, uh, you could, that's a great idea. You could do something else. You could be in your own town and make it look like a travel shoot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So you don't have to really travel. You can travel in your imagination. Okay, I'll, I'll import some pictures. You can't travel in your imagination, no. though. Just yeah, I let her, I just do it every single show. This explains a lot. I go somewhere else way better than this. Look at how travelish this is. Um, you know our friend Erlen? Schmooshix? <laughs> yeah. Before the show, he said he just demanded no cats. I don't know what his problem is with cats. He seems to hate all living well, things, but he, especially cats. Cats so. tried to kill his whole family. Yeah, I guess I understand that. So we have that. to be sensitive. It's, Everybody it's hard has times a, in yeah. Norway or wherever. He's in Norway. <laughs> I'm going to uh, lower my mic. Okay, so the secret of this shot is the person in the foreground that providing, providing a sense of scale. 
Um, I love the leading line of the road here. I mean, it, it could be a prettier road. It's a well-trodden road. Um, it also seems to lead to a little village there, and I wish I could see a little more detail in oh, it. There's just more rocks. Oh, are they rocks? That's a rock village. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't uh, know, actually. I'm just saying. Nonetheless, I think it's a, a really good picture. I, I would love to see the tops of the mountains. It might make it feel a little more complete. You might be able to get down a little bit lower and tilt the camera up a little bit just to get that extra angle without There's losing like that foreground. Too much foreground for me. Yeah, it is a lot of foreground. I, I know. I, I thought the same thing. Like, oh, if I could just tilt it back a little bit. Especially the Matterhorn. Come on. Yeah. Let's tilt it back. Yeah. What's the Matterhorn with you? Let's see this thing, you know? Somewhere in Italy by Jerry jeremy farrar i i think this picture has everything right about it it's nice bright colors no 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 because i didn't know this is in italy i didn't i like the colors i think there's some things you did right here jeremy i see what you see there's a lot of boats and a lot of colors and i like that but there could have been an angle like you have these shipping containers in the background which I don't think travel when I when I look at this. I think just boats. Yeah, I, I agree that it didn't really convey to me at first. When I saw it, it could have been any marina around here. Yeah. But unless I think... So maybe just getting colors. a different angle so that you have more architecture in the background depicting where you are um, and simplifying it a bit. But you're going... I, I see where you're going with it. And and maybe like just it. watch the highlights here, that boat. Sometimes these like really reflective man-made objects or herons or or cranes, like birds, can just be so bright that they will overexpose no matter what. So you'd have to watch that and dial in some exposure compensation. Chapter three of Stunning Digital Photography. Uh, this is another great shot, having somebody in the foreground providing that sense of scale. Yeah, this one says travel to me. They're walking down the road. They have a backpack on. They're going somewhere. They get those travel dreads. Travel dreads? Yeah, it's like like when somebody pick? starts traveling after college, they get dreads for some reason. Oh my so god! Like, I knew somebody who did that. Like they're like their one first with trip Earth to now, Jamaica. You know? Yeah. They don't then, know that. They don't know they're white. The real test add, of character is how how many years in the future do they have those dreads? Like if it's if it's more than a couple of months then i don't know maybe they don't have any friends who are willing to tell them to stop it i just realized this could be the photographer and we're we're talking about their hair a little too much it's about the photography yeah we're for it's based on our own the people we've known in our lives not you andre um i think i think you messed up the colors but i'm uh, yeah, in I love with to... you all the same i hit the haze a little bit but yeah the it turned there's the so much green it seems like it's reflecting off those sweet dreads. Okay. Good. Pick. I gave it a pick, but you... Dave. Frosty winter morning at Cradle Mountain. Wow. I want to go there. Um, I would actually lower the contrast on this. I just feel like it's... Like, it, I don't know. What's going on with it? Is it... We're fired up today, Tony. I mean, are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. I stalled out there and had to reboot. This <laughs> he's not is a super real blue human. over here. There's, there's got we got to do something with the color, right? No, no, because it's just it looks super cold over here, but then the rest of it doesn't look cold. It at is all. because it's in the shadow, so there's still frost, but where the sun has hit it, the frost has melted off. Oh, okay. It's accurate. The world is a a confusing place, Tony. <laughs> That's what this picture tells me. I might just tilt back a little bit and get those weeds out of the foreground I or like, just move forward. Just take a couple of steps into I the like water. Oh. oh, I think it's a nice abstract shot. Sure. People know that I've been into I love those. geometry lately. Oh my God, this again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like this. Oh, I know where hey, she Jim. is. She's using a touristy item. Oh, yeah, that's Alcatraz in the background. Okay. Yeah, nice shot. I'm going to give this a pick. This says travel to me. Oh. Jacksonville. I love making cityscapes when I travel. You uh, do. It don't can be really hard, though. Most cities don't have a decent city, like a decent 
cityscape, but this one does. And and everybody knows it. Look at all those people. Oh, I wonder if there's a fireworks show going on over there or something like that. Great shot. Beautiful colors. Great sky. I'll give you a pick. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that I've ever seen a runway shot like that yeah. before. I'm going to give this a pick. You probably shouldn't be there. No, don't tell him how to live his life. Come on, it's <laughs> Maybe Sebastian. Sebastian works at the airport. Yeah, you don't know. Maybe he just has a weird place to jog. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, you made me laugh just because of the mixed expressions between them. Like, she's doing this cheesy jumping shot and the other lady just seems irritated by the whole thing. Oh, I think she just didn't know the level of excitement that was happening next to her. I like this. I'm giving it a pick. Wow, Cape Smokey. I love that nice shot, John. sunburst. Good job. I like the composition. I love the colors. I'm going to give it a pick. I you like know, you got that sunburst? F-16. I know. Those high F-stop numbers give you cool sunbursts like that and also show you all your noise. Aperture played. We were just at the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, I was is, just looking at my pictures of the Golden Gate and Bridge. This is a very nice shot. Uh, there's a there's little nobody... fringing going on. You might have brought the blues. How many people much. did you remove from this photo? Yeah, I was going to say, you must have spent a lot of time and a lot of photos to do that. I agree Yeah, with especially because the sun's high and in look, the sky. And look, you got the yeah. sunburst right in the middle. Yeah, that's great. It's like you nice really thought this out. It's almost like you're a photographer or something. I'm going to give you a pick. What happened here? All oh, this, this looks like it's like a sci-fi movie yeah it looks the like last men on earth 200 years after we terraform mars did i say 200 i meant like how long would it take to get to this point like 500 years can we just stop this photography stuff and just talk about how long terraforming no, mars will take no yeah because i think justin probably knows the answer no because the justin. magnetic field you but there's no magnetic fields so you can't maintain an atmosphere so this would be thousands of years after terraforming mars assuming we can make a magnetic field so good job for terra <laughs> good job it'd be <laughs> tough that's all radiated soil and stuff it'd take a while this is on topic the topic is travel traveling Clearly, to mars yeah we're all interested in traveling to mars justin we gotta look this up because now i'm worried you and i aren't gonna make it to mars like i know then what then what we're stuck in this hellhole well, you can always live underground. No. I discovered that the boring company is... Do you see how nice is... my tan gets? Do you think I'm just going to put this underground? <laughs> Let's be reasonable. Okay. Oh, great shot. I, that's funny. We have some really similar shots like that from Thailand. This is great. I, I like give the eye contact. Pick. Yeah, uh, this, this kind of panning shot, just dragging the shutter a little bit, mm -hmm. uh, can just make a shot so much more interesting than all the shots that you see. But also the eye contact. Just... Just perfect. Great shot. Let's, Black and white's a good choice. Oh though. my gosh, what is even happening? Diego. Is this for real? Uh I'm gonna give this a pick right away. Wait, I'm I don't know where her hair ends and the goat begins. They are one. Or is that a lamb? And it's smiling. It's smiling. Can I pick I'm gonna give this another pick and five stars. Yeah, and I like the background in it too. I I might want a little more room at the bottom. Just because the mule seems a little crowded. I love that. Let's like see what monkey. Siobhan... Let's see if she has any questions or comments or anything like that. Sometimes she does. Okay, let's talk to Siobhan. Almost every time she does. I do. See? Jim Setzer wants to know, what is the one gadget that really made the biggest difference for you while traveling? Hmm. Uh, I mean, it would have to be my smartphone. That's an easy answer. Yeah. But the smartphone is useful for so many things from planning your lights to sharing your pictures and communicating with people and getting yourself to the destination with navigation systems and such. And my what second choice would probably be USB batteries to charge my yeah, smartphone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. You're good. What else? Did, Justin, do you have any gadgets? I, I that... thought you were going to say a drone, like a Mavic or Ooh, something. Oh, I do really like one. having a drone, yeah. But what about your electric razor? <laughs> you do need an electric razor what other gadgets it seems like i travel with so many gadgets there must be something else i don't know i love my 
my Bo- Bose noise canceling headphones, the like in ear mm. kind. Mm. When you're on an airplane, that makes the trip go by go faster. What else, Siobhan? Let's see if we have any portfolios. I can't hear you. Sorry, that was me. What's your favorite place you've traveled for photography and not for photography? Oh, I loved Peru and Portugal. Um, where's the place that was not photogenic? I had a hard time with Texas. No offense. There's a lot of you. Don't hang me out to dry. It, you probably also wouldn't make your favorite places to visit in general, though. Um, wow. Yeah, I really felt like Peru is one of my the favorite places I've ever visited. I would say Japan might be my favorite place that I didn't find to be... Well, we did get a lot of good pictures in Japan. I almost said not great for photography, specifically because I was thinking of the skyline, but... Tokyo didn't have a great skyline that I could find, but otherwise it was great for photography too. I don't know. I like every place. Yeah, you know what's great for photography, but not that much fun overall is like I found like Lucerne, Switzerland. It was kind of like, it was beautiful, but I don't know. Maybe if the weather had been It was like, now what? Because we got beautiful pictures and then we wanted to go out. Yeah. We were like, no one will talk to us. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, they didn't really like Americans. Why there would very you much. talk to me? I'm I'm super American. Look at me smiling for no reason. <laughs> talk to me. They were not having it. They were like, "You get out right now." <laughs> Wait, I have one more important thing before you do a portfolio. Okay. Sure, sure. Our lovely friend Roderick, who sends us booze, <laughs> just gave us fifty euros. Dang. And didn't even ask a question or make a comment. He just loves us quietly. Oh, we love you too, but we're more vocal about it. Thank you so much. That's really nice. Yeah, but like, who is this international man of mystery always sending us booze and money? Are you dating us? That's been my experience. I think he lives in, does he live in Scotland or Ireland, Siobhan? Ireland, I believe. Let's all go visit him. Okay. He's basically paying for the plane tickets every show. Just one little piece at a time. Okay, let's do a portfolio review. Every week we review Squarespace portfolios. We used to review other portfolios too, but they were pretty ugly. Yeah, you get pop-up ads and stuff. Yeah, it was so ugly. So now we're doing Squarespace portfolios. Even if you get your free trial, we'll review that free trial. So you can make one for 14 days, send it to us, and um, we'll tell you if we like your pictures and all that kind of fun stuff. This is Fabian Santiago. This is his about page. This is where I started, but I wanted to see what he looked like. I love his picture. Um, I can give you one tip. You can use your domain, Santiago.photography, as uh, your email address so you don't have to use Outlook.com anymore. That's a cool thing to do. You could be like Fabian at Santiago Photography. Set that up. Uh, let's look at his galleries. I was still reading about his life. Oh, you missed your chance. You got to learn some speed reading. Remember when speed reading was a big thing? Like the 80s? Do you remember this thing from the infomercial? Yeah. Does anyone else remember that, Siobhan, where they were like, you do, don't you? I tried it. I had no idea. I was like a kid. I was just like, nothing. What is it? I don't even get what you're saying. They had they would show a book and then they'd say, "Oh, well, you can speed read like these people." And then they'd show people with their hand on the page just going oh, like that yeah, yeah, as oh. if to say they were reading that quickly. Yeah, yeah. So I'd sit there and be like, "This is dumb. <laughs> this isn't real." Yeah, they'd sit down with War and Peace and put some tea on and before the kettle was whistling, they'd be done. They'd be like, "Hmm, that was boring." <laughs> Sorry, Santiago. Let's get real with this uh, picture. Awesome set of landscape photos. Ooh, I really like beautiful. this layout, full width. Yeah, uh, very dramatic. Really easy to scroll through. I would say just watch yeah. the fringing up here. Is that Check a condor, out the fringing Justin? video. I don't know. I'd Justin. be surprised, though. <laughs> I like asking Justin impossible questions. Look at <laughs> this picture. How pretty that is. Wow. It's like a wallpaper. That'd make a great stock photo. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Um, those are all great shots. Definitely not too many. Nice layout. Look, he's got a little quote here. Mark Twain? Wow. Oh my God. Oh, oh is this Burning Man? We saw this photo, remember? Oh, yeah, I remember that. Dog. What is that? 
is happening? Oh, that's really cool. This These are beautiful. also great travel shots. Can we visit him after we visit Roderick? Oh, that's awesome. I th we've maybe we've seen, seen that, that one too. too. Yeah. Yes. I uh, awesome shots. Man. Wow. I tried to give it like a that pick, but that's not possible. Um so do we have any feedback for him? You are so cool. My feedback is be my friend. Oh, that shot's awesome too on the line they're all great right yeah i i mean my goal here is definitely to provide constructive criticism and not just to praise somebody's portfolio this one maybe more contrast a little brighter whites um but so far these shots have really been good you know that previous category in this category maybe there's a bit of thinning you can do some of these are looking a little similar this one could definitely be a little brighter but then again maybe you have different goals for it maybe these particular shots are I would pare these down a little bit there's a lot here I got it thanks for sending your portfolio Fabian you want to look at some more you want to check out personal stuff oh I want to go to the about section wow he grew up with a chef father and he started training to be a chef I'm just interested in him personally okay I, uh, wardrobe consultant in Beverly Hills? Come on. Oh, man. He needs to consult my wardrobe. Don't look. <laughs> this old thing? Come on. <laughs> All right. We're going to circle back around. We're going to check up on this guy later. He's cool. All right. Let's see another portfolio. Well, let's see what Fabian had to say. Oh. About using Squarespace. Sorry, he says, I'm, I'm just moving on. Truly one of the easiest things to do to make yourself stand out. I love how you can preview a template and build it up before having to go live. The drag and drop is amazingly right? simple to use and to arrange your images and your pages. It's so easy. You go into Squarespace. We should build one one day for people so they can see. You press a big old plus sign and then it goes into your computer and you just either click on the file or you can even just drag and drop in and then you can see what it looks like. I usually keep, I have two screens, so I usually keep one where I'm building my site and one where I'm refreshing and looking at it so I can see what people see when they come into my site and I just play around. It's so much fun. Yeah. And they recently added a th thing where you can have like fork off a beta site so you can make changes without changing your production site. Yes. I've done Which that. is really nice. Cause I've, before I've been in like tweaking my site and then everybody who visits the site, it looks terrible, but you don't have to deal with that. Yes. Because you it's can just really high level stuff. So if you lay out your whole portfolio and you think mm, this template isn't really working, you can then, Put them in a new template and while you're working on that one still have your old one up and then you can make it go live once it's totally ready so you don't have some under construction monster going on when you're trying to just have some beautiful website they're the only hosting provider if you want your own squarespace website for photography or whatever just about any type of site visit squarespace.com tony that'll get you a 14 day free trial without a yeah, credit card and then send it in send your free trial into us so that we can help you and if you like it at the end of the 14 days you can get 10 percent off with the coupon code portfolio thanks for sponsoring squarespace uh oh we should we should take squarespace? a look see if we have any chit chat this week we have a little did you put that in there oh i did i what are you trying to do i put it i screenshot oh, it and then i you. whatever uh which comment? All of them? I don't know what was going through my head at this moment. <laughs> the person that said, please don't sue me for libel? Yeah, but I don't know why I would feel like I wanted to talk about that. Oh, Is maybe it, it was because Rihanna said here said... She was going to nerd the Jeff out? Nerd the Jeff out on your <laughs> channel from this day forward. Yeah. I don't know. I've never heard the phrase nerd the Jeff out before. Uh, so I thought that was cool. Also, I am well, going to sue Heron for libel. I thought I don't know that what he she said, was but... saying nerd the F out and then it autocorrected. Oh, you're probably right. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid autocorrect. <laughs> but I want a shirt that says nerd the Jeff out. Like, There's a ring to that, right? If you could nerd hard enough, every Jeff would leave. <laughs> Piero says, in Europe, we still call it kicking the greasy piglet, not football. Because everybody calls it soccer or football or kicking the greasy piglet. <laughs> Whatever you call it. 
Marek says, ha ha, making a 23 minute video about a product which you're it involved in? It's just out of good heart. You gonna lie and manipulate to protect Sony? If there was any doubt, you aren't a paid Sony shill. Well, they all disappeared now. You Remember that person who said, please don't sue me for libel? Yeah. Like, you can't just go around saying stuff like that. We're not paid by Sony. Well, no, he, we would have to disclose that if he's we He's not were. saying we are. He's saying that's his thought. So, you're wrong, but I'm sure you're used to it by now. <sighs> <laughs> he did say Tony's involved in the product. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what he's really talking much. about. We do like Sony, though. Let's go. I yeah, think it's there's just one a good more. camera. Wait, I think there's one more. I didn't see any more. Oh. Oh, this guy said podcast. This is from last week, but I don't care. Go to stp.io slash picture this. That's our podcast. And we have podcasts on Ansel Adams and seven mistakes that photographers make. And if you should shoot full time and go pro, the human eyes versus the camera. We have a bunch of podcasts. They're under the name picture this. You can get them in your podcasting app or you can look at our playlist on YouTube. What's the one that we just made? Like the photos that change history. Yeah, yeah that was a really good one. People should listen to that. Yeah. Wasn't... If you're a nerd, there's DSLR versus mirrorless in there. Oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> okay, we should double down and get through some of these quickly. Let's double down. Beautiful shot, I love the highlights here and the nice mm -hmm. leading line. Great shot. Um, This one, I feel like it actually needs more contrast, right? Yeah. Like there's just, there's no highlight to it. I'll help. Yeah. Press alt and then drag to the right. <clears throat> Let's do the whites too. I'll... It, it can just, I can see it's because of the weather. You have this cloud cover and that means that the, just, it's going to make lighting that is just too even. Uh, one way you might be able to fix that would be to rotate over and include the sun in the photo or just wait for a different time of day. I can see the sun is starting to peek through. See those two little patches of light that are coming through? Um, so for the most part, you know, it's gonna be about timing too. If you just, just hang around, just visit multiple days, just find the best angle and then just spend as much time there as you can. If you spent 10 minutes, you'd be better than if you spent two minutes. If you spent six months or a year there or multiple years like Ansel Adams did, you'd end up with a better and better picture. Your family would be super upset. Well, you have to make sacrifices. All right, so that helped a little bit. Oh, that's a just a striking, really nice picture. Uh, I was gonna say it has like the vibe of a long exposure, but it's not. Yeah. It also has the vibe of a rainbow, but it is not. Um, yeah, just watch the fringing a bit. Use a graduated yeah. filter here instead of that. We have a video on fringing if you search for it. Oh, this is travel to me, and that one guy looking up at the arch is making the photo. My eye goes right to him. Um, everyone else, except for the other guy behind him, you see the back of their head, so you get the feeling that there are many people at a tourist attraction, but um, I don't feel like they're overwhelming the photo. I'm going to give this a pick. I can't help but staring at Sarah Desquato. Pardon? <laughs> Nobody? Quato. <laughs> when it just be real quiet so we all have to <laughs> sit on that a couple of people laughing no uh, <laughs> who, who's the photographer for this picture Charles? i can't read it someone gave me a, like a pronunciation a pronunciation sheet because we ruined so many names <laughs> but it's somewhere that's a new one mr Mr. or Mrs. Miss Polder, I like your shot. Uh, I, I, my eye doesn't rest anywhere though. I feel like it could use a focal point. Troy. This certainly has bright and bold colors. Yeah, that makes me Route 66, so Troy. Uh, Is there food? I might just drop the black point a little bit. It does have the in and out thing going, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh I, I think gosh, that's a cool Justin, shot. Justin, let's get a burger. I, I almost want to just move a little bit and see if there's a way I could hide this. Because mm -hmm. I don't mind the power line so much, but this itself is a little distracting. Yeah. Oh, 
<laughs> nice shot, Jim. Let's give you a pick. Yeah. We've done almost that same shot, and it's, it, is, it makes a big difference to have that kind of focal point. And if you have somebody with, them, with you, make them be the focal point. Sure. <laughs> like force them to get in there and get a little misty. <laughs> Oh, Siobhan. Siobhan. Really nice. Uh, dang, you went surfing. That's pretty cool. And again, with the focal point, this is... She didn't go surfing. A perfect <laughs> shot. Uh, I like the uh, the horizon is behind her shoulders there, which is something people often overlook. They'll have the person just completely below the horizon. But it adds so much depth. Beautiful sky, nice processing. All right, I'm giving it a pick. I pick. love the Tony, colors. do you think that guy is me? No, I think you have the... <laughs> the camera but i mean i guess i didn't mean to him uh, you're you're okay you didn't go surfing i apologize you went to a place near surfers no because you said she but you meant siobhan but i thought you thought this was a woman at first as well i didn't i don't go around trying to judge everybody's gender i was referring to siobhan is, is that why you call me day <laughs> <laughs> okay good one siobhan whoa these colors are good where is this? Some place where ladies like that can go topless. <laughs> You're confused. <laughs> You're just ultimately confused. Well, I love the colors. That uh, is a super cool place with that big statue out yeah. there. That's some Game of Thrones stuff. It's like Game stuff. of Thrones, yes. Um, Let's go. I, I feel <laughs> like that's the most interesting part to me, but then we have this, like, I don't know. just Kent town. It feels like a parking lot and... <laughs> I would take the shot, but then maybe also lean down a little bit and just hide it behind the wall and see if you can keep That's this a part as a focal of it. point. There's t-shirts. Oh, it's definitely part of this. Yeah. And I think it's part of it. I'm just saying, have another option. Ooh, look at these colors, green and red. She's right under the arch. Yeah. Including the, the lady in the red is a great idea. I'm going to give that a pick. It really sets it apart. I wish the other people weren't in there. You could always clone that stuff out, but. Good one. She's the focal point. This is not so travelly to me, but it is a lovely picture. Yeah. Hey. Skylines can be tough, right? Yeah. I think what this says is haze. That's that's what it really conveys to me. Uh, which which is interesting. It definitely tells you about the place. Just a little dehaze. Yeah, that definitely adds some more pop. Might not be quite as uh, genuine, but it still certainly conveys haze. Okay. Wow. Whoa. Oh, we uh, were yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, Erlen got the shot. Well, he took his camera in the water, which made everyone a little nervous. I'm yeah. going to give this a pick because I know. 5D Mark three with no housing, just him floating in the water with like three thousand dollars in camera gear i was so nervous for him uh but look at that jump. but he made the best shot and he certainly deserves a pick for this this was in thailand at one of our workshops uh and he you know orchestrated the people jumping and planned everything out and you can see he planned it around the composition it's not a super fast camera so he really had to time it that anyway. trip was so much fun it, it was really fun i think this might have been the best shot from the trip I don't know, maybe I was just so impressed with Erland and getting in the water. We had so many maniac. good shots. Remember the last day when we were reviewing everyone's photos? Oh, yeah. It blew me away. Uh, I just feel like I want a little more contrast in this, but... This is great. Yeah. Pick. Great shot. Oh, man. This is perfect. <laughs> what? I really want all the this. Colors. Look at that. Look at that truck. It's like a brightly colored military camper or something. Dynamic. It's so cool. I'm going to give it a pick. Dang, this guy Isn't is awesome. Cool, Justin? Yeah, it's in the Sahara. That's crazy. Vancouver. Dang, who knew Vancouver was so beautiful? Yeah, let's go. Um, You could have picked, too. That's a great, great spot, great <gasps> time. Pick. I really feel like I'm on an adventure with this person. Yeah, this one really eliminates all the distractions it includes only the key elements the person mm -hmm. in the foreground the sun the boat the palm trees it's perfect <laughs> dc is great yeah and i think this is a a good shot at what it is which is a, a very common type of photo that people take just showing i've been to this place and you kind of want to include <laughs> the background um you could probably i'd probably have tried to balance the composition between our subject here and 
the building in the background so you could just shift to the left a little bit and follow the rule of thirds. Um, and using a higher f-stop number can bring that capital into focus a little bit better. The city of Asheville. Yeah, I like the colors. Yeah, just go out a little bit earlier in the day and get some more color in the sky. You could also... That's true, brighten that up some, see if you can recover something. What's that in the sky? Is it reflections off the hotel room window, maybe? Just brighten up the sky a little bit. Good call. Thank you, Tony. Did you just mute yourself when you said that? I, yeah, I accidentally <laughs> muted myself. <laughs> that was confusing to me. This shot is pretty fascinating, right? Yeah, yeah I'm going to give this a pick. It tells a story. I do feel like they're traveling there to see something magnificent and it it's a nice shot um well i think well i just i felt myself distracted by that by light in the foreground i might want more negative space at the bottom but i just found that foreground light to be i don't know took away from the feeling of being spotlighted okay oh, see geometry this is ross gets me beautiful and <laughs> um i like the shot a lot it doesn't necessarily say travel to me, but I do like it. I'm giving it a pick. Oh, man. <laughs> Bamf. You're living the life, Richard. <laughs> uh, really nice. I think uh, maybe a little too much foreground, but I think you probably were composing it on a tripod and running over there. So I know this can be How do you difficult know shots to get. I like this interesting composition. Yeah, I like it a lot too, the kind of isolation of the yeah. subject. I'm gonna this one's neat too. Yeah, I like that shot. Um I'm torn here because with something like a castle, you might want to try to capture it in more isolation, especially with the sign in the foreground. I like it better without the sign. Yeah, it can be tough in Scotland too, because that's what the sky always looks like. Um, Man. another shot of Banff. What's going on? This is gorgeous, right? Just it's great, classically there. gorgeous landscape. So I'll give you a pick. You, I might even hit it with a little bit of dehaze. It doesn't need much. I mean, it's fine as is. But man, why is dehaze all the way down here? <laughs> why can't I move the controls around a little bit? You think I went too far? Uh, you want to you want to oh. talk to Siobhan and yeah, maybe I do. I'll... I've been wanting to. Siobhan, what's up? Yes. <laughs> Dang, Someone asked me this question. It's Lewis. Ten years oh. ago, would you have imagined that you'd Good be working course. on a YouTube live show? No, that wasn't a thing back then. Yeah. I. Yeah, you're right. Oh yeah, how long have we been doing this for? Does anyone here know? Oh, the live show? I don't know. Six like, years? Five no, years? not the live no. show. Not no, just like all two of years YouTube. on the live show. But I, yeah, I think what like. No, I think even more than that for the live show. Because before it was this, it yeah, was I, I news, booze, and reviews, right? So it was maybe yeah. three or four years. But it wasn't. I guess there was a difference between news, booze, and reviews and the live show as well. <clears throat> Some people still want the name to be News, Booze, and Reviews. I, me. <laughs> you That's too? Me. Yeah, I like that name. Yeah, it's a cool name. It's too late um, to go back. I definitely and didn't what imagine. What were we all doing 10 years ago? <laughs> I feel like we should have a flashback moment right now. I feel like I'd be giving up me and Chelsea's age if I answer that question. Well, I hadn't even met Tony yet. Yeah. yeah. I, I was starting to do video work, though. Um, I was doing development stuff, but I was starting to make development videos, that type thing. I, I definitely saw like books could transition into this video. It was definitely on my radar, but I don't think I really saw independent contributor style video to be as huge as it is. Like now, now YouTube is getting more views than any of the major networks yeah. at any given time. Remember when everyone was like, YouTube, that's not a real thing. And now all of the famous people are coming to YouTube. So now we look stupid. Let's tell them to go back to the networks. 
you committed, die with it. <laughs> what else, Siobhan? Well, you have a Puerto Rican fan going by the name Potato Guy who yes. <laughs> wants to know if you guys plan on going to Puerto Rico. You've been many times. Yeah, I, I will definitely back be back in Puerto Rico. I've been many, many times. Yeah, we visit on the regular. Mm -hmm. We haven't been in a while, though, so we're due for a trip. Yeah, it's a Which fantastic spot. Rico Everybody should visit Puerto Rico. It's super easy to get to from almost anywhere, almost anywhere, especially in the U.S. But yes, and the eco diversity is incredible. They have desert, Fish they have Island. rainforest, and everything in between. It's amazing. Oh, that's gorgeous. Uh, real quick, Tony and Chelsea live. First episode was June 9th, two thousand fourteen, and news, booze, and reviews debuted uh, September 11, 2013. Oh, dang, I was way off. So yeah. we've been live yeah. in this format for three years. Yeah. And you said 2014 for news, news and reviews? Uh, July, or June 9th, 2014, yep. We've been doing this too long. We've got to <laughs> move on. <laughs> three years, I don't like doing anything that long. I, it, Time flies. I'm just blown away. I didn't realize it had been so long. Yeah, screw this. We got to find something different. Yeah, let's find something else. Siobhan, what else? Well, we got some more money comments. Sweet. Hey, money. Andreas gave us five euros and said, let's show a little support. That's right, Andreas. Thank you, Andreas. Thanks, you. Ben Kraft just gave us $2 and said, can the Nikon D7200 do good sports photography? Yeah, it's it's pretty good. I still found that um, it, it buffered pretty quickly. But as long as you're shooting JPEG, it's really good. What else? Is that it, Siobhan? Nope. Whoa. Ahmed wants to know, can you offer any Fresh quick tips for traveling the world on a budget? Yes, I can. Hold on. You can trade. First of all, you can travel in hostels, so you can save money that way. You can trade apartments with people if you wanted to try something like that. Um, there are, if you want to travel all of the time, you can make it a part of your job. I've known people that have started uh, all different kind of travel companies from volunteer tourism too. Of course, I know a lot of people that travel and do workshops for photography. Uh, you can volunteer. So you can go with a group of people and get to see the world that way. Um, I know people that travel almost for free by doing jobs like archaeology. What other ways have people? There is a way. People yeah, always... picking your job is a, a good one because right out of college, I took a job where it was just doing computer work and I was wildly underpaid, but they told me that they would send me around doing consulting, which most people would hate, but I was like, okay, I will, you can fly me anywhere. That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think those are all good suggestions. You can fly standby or you can just drive or take a bus. Like there's an amazing amount of stuff to see in your own country where we are. Most people, especially if you live in the U S most people haven't seen much of the U S just hop on a Greyhound yeah. and check out Airbnb. And really you can travel for, you know, I 10, 20 said, bucks a day. There's crazy stuff out there. Um, some people travel on, uh, what are the huge shipping boats called? Why am I blanking? Oh, container, ship? container ships. They actually really? leave some spots open and you can like, someone just traveled to China for like $50 and they just eat with the crew and everything. And it takes longer. You're determined though. You can find some weird stuff to get you around the world. You're like, wow, you want to do that, huh? You know what else you can do? Instead of taking um, you can a get limo kidnapped. to the airport, you could get a friend to drive you to the airport. <laughs> no one takes a limo to the airport. <laughs> what, 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 are we, what do you mean? What I are we, Hulk Hogan in like 1989? <laughs> Whenever I see a limo now, I'm like, that is just someone going to prom. There are also limos out there without the hot tub in them that cost less. That's true. That's a good But you don't get to be in a hot tub, but I'm saying if you're trying to travel cheaply. Yeah, but I feel like if you're traveling in a hot tub, it's very safe, you know? Um, and you don't have to tip the TSA agents. Wow. So these are bougie <laughs> travel tips from Tony. What are we looking at? 
this is Neuschwanstein Castle. I feel like you nailed that. I feel like I did too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for noticing. Great place. They gave you a pick. Uh, oh, it's a statue. I was like, who is this majestic guy in the thumbnail? <laughs> Nonetheless, I like that he's overlooking those people there. Yeah. Or are they also statues? There's no way to know. There's really no way to know. New Zealand. The land oh. of chili bins. I think that's gorgeous. I don't know. I just yeah. love the colors. Yeah, I'm going to give it, it a those... pick. Yeah, you get a pick, sir. <gasps> Dang, Norm. Well, I this feel is... so alone. Wow. Uh, yeah, I, I pick for that too. That's the atmosphere here is just gorgeous. Yeah. I love the simple wow. composition. Our audience is great at travel picks. <gasps> oh, this is, is in... definitely in Thailand too. Yeah, that this little, is we've the been same there. Place we've been here. Let's do pick. I uh, just even... watch the fringing. Look at these people fighting for shade. It's like three hundred degrees there. Yeah, and don't fly a drone there. <laughs> you saw that? What? This is a really cool picture. Yeah, but you got to give Oswin or Oswin. You have to give your subject there something to do with his hands. No, he's staying still. It's a long exposure. That's true. Yeah, See? everybody else is moving. I'm gonna give it a pick. I really like that. <laughs> Norway. Beautiful shot. I I can't think of anything to suggest. Kids, I like that. I'm running. He's leading the line. Beach. Um, here I just wish she had something in the foreground because there's kind of nothing in the whole bottom half of the frame. There's a little bit, but a little bit, but, but. Paul Costanzo. Um, and I think this has some of the same thing going on, like maybe getting closer to the subject, figure out what your subject is. What about the horizon? Horizon should be leveled. Um, I feel like the subject here is the horse and the fence. And that story might be better told by just getting closer to them. I can't actually level it because I'm not level biologically. Yeah. Um, this place is gorgeous. Once again, level that horizon. Didn't we just mention that we hadn't had to level a horizon a long time? Yeah, yeah. People are getting revenge. See what you did? Jinxing is real, people. <laughs> Jinxing is real. What is going on with the level horizons? <laughs> Just oh. today I was thinking, uh, I can't believe we haven't put a ding in our car yet. We've had it for like a year and a half. And I thought if I ever said that, Chelsea would be so upset because she believes in jinxing. <laughs> she does. <laughs> Chelsea do. believes in jinxing. <laughs> I do. Or I feel like, what? this is what I think. I think... Once you come to appreciate it, you identify with it, and then it becomes more important. So it's not necessarily that it's going to happen, but it's going to hurt more now that you've made it exist in our reality. Does that make sense? We're the people that don't have a ding in our car, and then when it happens, you're like, not only is my car dinged. Now I'm worthless. I lost my whole all identity. I had. It was yeah. a dingless car. I don't do that. You do that. Just like the time when I was like, hey, Tony, when you pull into the garage, could you really be more careful? And then like the next day I pulled into the garage and just ripped our car apart. And then I was like, <laughs> if I hadn't said anything, this wouldn't have been that big of a deal. Now it's a thing. <laughs> Lots of vertical lines here, so be sure that you uh, level that. A little hdr -y for me, but I do like the composition and I do like the elements in the photo. Yeah, this is the most London-y photo ever, right? He just, wait, is it, he actually has, is that a double-decker bus back there? Yes. He's got, cool. yeah. I really like London after five o'clock when everyone stops being polite. Oh man, it gets dodgy. I like it. <laughs> Peter Peterson. Um, There's a lot going on here without necessarily a focal point. Um, I think what's interesting about this skyline isn't this museum that's taking up the most of the center, but kind of the um, massive numbers of buildings. And one of the better ways to capture that is with a more telephoto lens, because that will compress everything and kind of show it. Otherwise, you might um, pick out one particular feature like this dome over here. Um, incidentally, I like the boat, the, the boat, the airplane that was going over there. Oh, yeah. 
I like the hiking and the reflections. Good travel vibe. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I like that a lot, especially with the person walking through the, the maple leaf. I haven't been to Toronto, really. Honeymoon in Croatia. This is a pretty scene, but it 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 needs a focal point. And also, I'll make a suggestion. When you're dealing with small alleys like this, mm -hmm. uh, the sunlight is really important. So here, I think the colors of this building are the most interesting thing. At a different time of day, I bet the sunlight will hit it, because right now they're, they're hitting this side. Uh, I find it best to shoot midday when the sun is at, at the highest point for these types of alleyways. Hmm. I'll say everything's in shadow. I like the vibe here. Um, I wish that the people were more in focus or sharper, but <gasps> hey, where is this? Um, I love yeah, the lights. Once again, the, there's most of the foreground here, pretty much the whole bottom third of the picture is kind of low contrast and not too much going on. So if somebody were to walk past, uh, maybe a woman in a long red dress or a man in a oh. suit with a brightly colored umbrella. Oh. Yeah, we're not asking a lot. <laughs> uh, also be careful of the, the fringing. Might be a like little too much. Like the moon is in there? Yeah. Now it starts to become a little more obvious. Where is this? Well, I don't know. It's an absolutely gorgeous spot, but I think I would probably try to isolate the interesting colored branches in the background there. I think this in the, the foreground feels more like a distraction. It provides a little bit of context, but I think it would mean more if there was somebody in those seats or told more of a story. Yeah. Um, Raphael, yeah. this is a good shot, but earlier we had a picture with a scooter that was moving and it actually showed the motion and that's just something to strive for. You might just think about yeah. that next time. I do like the leading lines here and the people's expressions. That's nice. Do Oh, this is taken from inside of a building. You can see the light. Is this the, the light that your friend David can control with his mobile phone app? Or is that just, is this the... Uh, Empire State? This is the Empire State. I don't know which building he can control. Yep. Lovely. Nobody knows what we're talking about. They're like, that makes no sense. <laughs> These people are getting weirder. There are powerful people in this world who can control the colors of lights of buildings in New York City with a mobile phone app. <laughs> yeah. No joke. Remember when I told you? They're doing camera were... reviews for you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This world's so tiny. Oh. See? You said Texas. Texas was an ugly place filled with losers, and here Rick Brewster comes along and proves you wrong. I didn't That's an say awesome that. shot, Rick. And it also really feels like it captures Texas. Like, just so look at all these, like, big, so small. So much. Yeah. Yeah. Why is nobody looking at them? They're fascinating. What is better <laughs> What's than going this? On over there? Yeah, that's where the real story is at. Of these people are boring. Look at this guy. Yeah, what does it take? <laughs> Nice, nice. Let's brighten it. Don't be afraid to be bright, Robert. Um, it looks like there's an on-camera flash that provided kind of a weird lighting situation. And definitely watch the fringing here. Graduated filter, check chapter 10 of stunning digital photography. Chapter 9, landscapes. Looks like it was a beautiful um, night. And a more telephoto lens would make that a little more compelling. Palace of Fine Arts in San Francisco. Uh, beautiful light streaming That's through. Beautiful. Good time of day. Uh, maybe get a swan going through the front. Siobhan, do we have any other questions? Oh, these are good. Sure we do. Sure. Looks like hard If you could only have one mirrorless camera, which one would you choose? Mm. Oh, man. Mirrorless cameras in the last year have gotten so good. Get this one to pick. Um, this is an awesome shot, Simon. I don't know, man. It would be hard to pick anything but the A9 because that camera is so well put together. But I love the X-T2, and I'm in the process of finalizing my EM1 Mark II review, and that camera's just awesome. But then I love making video with the GH5. 
What do you, you think, Chelsea? Choose. Of all the mirrorless cameras, which one do you like? I know you still tend to pick up a D810. No, I, it's hard for me to choose because, um, like, the... I want to say the A9, but then that wouldn't be the one that I picked up to travel with. So, yeah, we're spoiled. That's what the answer is. This picture is great. What else, Siobhan? Is that level? Uh, How often do you carry your tripod, tripod halfway around the world and then don't get an opportunity to use it? <laughs> Like all the time. Yeah, like most of the time. That's why we like the Manfrotto B Free. It's light. It travels well. We're not sponsored by Manfrotto or anything. We just like that tripod. Yeah, and but yeah, it does happen all the time. But then when I don't travel with it, uh, some awesome night photography yes. opportunity will present itself, and I won't be properly equipped. That's happened. So I pretty much always try to travel with a tripod. Okay. What else, Siobhan? One last question. Whoa. I. I. Are you beyond bringing a laptop for travel? Do you post edit on trips or wait until you return home? Hmm. Uh, I'm enamored with the iPad, so I'd bring that instead of a laptop. We just started doing that. And it depends because sometimes I get pictures and I think, oh, I can wait to edit those. They're not my favorite and sometimes i cannot wait to start editing them and i edit on our trip but in the last the last trip we just did everything with our phones our smartphones just imported pictures there and we were able yeah. to share things and just make sure that everything the pictures were turning out mm -hmm. and get a backup like off camera copy but uh the my problem with laptops is they're just like too painfully slow and you just never have enough time to I hardly ever have time to just import the pictures, but then Lightroom is so slow. Yeah. Even on Justin's massive overpowered laptop, it's just... So for the most part, no, not a lot of time. Just when I'm like, I have downtime anyway, like I'm in the back seat or something. All right, let's review these last few Check photos. The fringing on that one. Yeah. Chelsea, Search our channel for fringing. Mm -hmm. You have a Twitter, a Twitter inquiry, Chelsea. What is it? It's from Siobhan Matthews over in Scotland. She says, Chelsea, your look is so on point as usual tonight. Heart emoji, smiley face thing. Oh. Where is your top from? In Scotland, so we won't clash awkwardly. Ha ha. <laughs> I don't know. I'll chat. <laughs> I don't know. It's really old. Oh, uh, do you want me to look at the label? No. No? It's like four years old, so I don't think you'd be able to get it. But if you're my size, you can have it because I feel like I'm getting too big for it. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. Okay. This is a cool shot. Tilt shift uh, effect. It looks like a effect. yeah a toy train. I love that. I'm going to give that a P. It makes me want to travel. Huh. Nice. Yeah, that's a cool shot. You get a P it's for cool. that too. Whoa. Disney. I think we might to have to the max. Yeah, I think we might need to, to dial max. that back a little bit. Okay. Well, here's what we can do for you. Let's brighten it. Yeah. Check, Let's chapter it. ten of I stunning digital photography. We have some tips on properly exposing your night photos. It's just a little dark, which your <gasps> camera will do automatically. Oh my god. Nice. Okay. Oh, oh infrared. infrared. Cool. I'm gonna give you a pic because you, you're different. Look, he also just leaves his lens like that and stuff. Oh, people will freak my, out about that if you do respect. that. Uh, wow. Graduated filters to prevent fringing. Okay. Let's get a move on, Tony. Okay. Thank you for joining us. God, those dogs are cute. I know. <laughs> they were really that. sweet. Thank you, Squarespace for helping make this show possible. And of course, thank you viewers for helping with that as well. If you'd like your own Squarespace, you can go to squarespace.com slash Tony. You can get a 14 day free trial. You can try it out, no credit card needed. You can even submit it to this show so that we can give you some feedback. And if you decide that you like it, you can use the portfolio, the code portfolio and get 10% off. That saves you 10% and it tells Squarespace we're doing an all right job so they keep sponsoring the show. Thanks for sponsoring us, Squarespace. Uh, you know what? Am yeah. I crazy? I'm just looking at this. Our shots are like totally off level. This TV. 
Well, yeah, because remember, I changed the, the whole studio. Ultimate in irony. We're busting on people for not being level and we can't get it right here ourselves. Well, do as I say, not as I do. The hypocrisy of it all. Yeah. Thank you, Siobhan. And thank you, Justin, for helping us out. Thanks. See you, Bye. Next, See you next week. Astro photography, night photography. Astro. That is all. That is all.